Hey, what's up everybody, Peloton here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a new piece of tech, the Feutech Pocket 2S gimbal that I've been trying out on my streams lately. This is it right here, this little bad boy. Let's turn it around and see how it works. There you go, look at that nice little Windows chime sound. Um, it has a detachable gimbal head, so this thing is magnetic and it uh, detaches from the base unit here. And uh, I've been mounting this thing on a helmet or on my shoulder on some of my recent bike streams. You'll get to see some of that footage as well. So we'll do an unboxing video. If you do have any questions about this little device here, please drop those in the comments below. I'll make sure to post uh, links to the camera in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Always looking to explore new tech and ways to get more creative with my streams. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the unboxing of the Feutech Pocket 2S gimbal. Okay, so we are literally just picked up the Amazon box off the doorstep. I'm going to try not to dox myself here by sharing my address. This is why the box is upside down. But um, we're going to open this up, try to make enough room for myself here. I've got a very unprofessional tripod with the Sony ZV-1 on top looking down set up here on my crammed desk but it looks okay on camera seems pretty small I, I actually would have thought they'd give me a different longer skinnier box but seems to be in a relatively short stocky box and here we are the feu pocket 2s gimbal with detachable head camera is really what it is so this is what we're looking at, chat. I don't think there's anything docs worthy on that because it's, at this point, it's just the Feiyu Pocket 2S box. Looks tiny. I think I cut that when I opened the box, interesting. Let's pop it open. One of the things that um, I was reading about was that some of these supposedly, look at that, I actually cut the box when I opened it. See that? Don't tell Amazon in case I need to return this. Um, I've heard that certain versions of this don't have a quarter inch thread on the bottom of the hand unit here. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not this one has it or not. I've, I've heard that the Amazon ones don't, but if you order directly from Feutech, it might actually have one. So let's open it up. Find more features pamphlet in English. Looks like something in Chinese, most likely. Instruction quick start guide. Thanks for choosing us. Visit us on all of our socials card. And there's a warranty card here as well. Looks like we got a nice soft carrying pouch. Whoa, that thing is way smaller than I expected. Look at this. So you got some nice foam packaging here. Man, this thing is super skinny. I was not expecting it to be this tiny. In all the videos I've seen, it seemed a lot bigger. Nice foam packaging. You got kind of like this insert here to keep the foam locked into place. But this is it right here. Let's take it out. So I think this is probably a box with cables and stuff in there, like maybe a charging cable. I'm not really sure. Here you have it. This is the Feiyu Pocket 2S, the latest handheld gimbal with a detachable head. So I believe this is just magnetic and it comes off. Yeah, like I just took that off. It's got like a spool. It attaches back on there. So it does have the quarter mount thread on the bottom. That's a good sign. That is a good sign for me. It looks like the recent updates they made include that now. Um, it's cold. It's It feels cold right now. This is like an aluminum body, some kind of metal body. It's magnetic, so I know that this will stick to any magnetic surfaces. And obviously the, the head itself is magnetic and it connects to the spool with the magnet. So 
you can unthread the cable here. The interesting potential use I see for this as a IRL cycling camera is the ability to put this in multiple places. And in and of itself, this gimbal head is pretty inconspicuous. Like it's not nearly as big as a GoPro or a Sony cam, although it kind of takes up the same footprint, but it's not, doesn't protrude quite as much. And it does have HDMI out. So there is a micro HDMI port on the bottom there and supposedly supports 4K60 HDMI output, which we wouldn't be using for streaming anyways. However, uh, we'd use something like 1080p60 or 1080p30. Um, this cable is supposed to be, I think, three feet long. Let's just undo it real quick here. Try to keep things relatively in focus. And I also believe the spool can be unthreaded. So you can remove the spool. I'm gonna pull this out and see if this, this looks about three feet long here. So it is that much long. That's, that's about three feet. So one of the other intriguing things I think is the ability to place this in multiple locations. So a chest mounted, head mounted, shoulder, arm mounted, bike mounted, all of those could bring different variety to the stream and different quality or view po vantage points that you might not get otherwise. The other really interesting thing is it has a joystick. And so you could actually pan the camera while you're using it. Like a gimbal is meant to, you know, keep a steady image as you're doing all of this, but you can also use the joystick then to pan the camera. And what, what seems interesting to me is the potential ability to reposition or re-angle the camera based on what's taking place on the ride. So think of interviewing or talking to other people as I'm riding my bike. Imagine the gimbal head here, let's just say sitting out front on my handlebars and normally it's positioned forward looking down the road that I'm riding, but then I wanna have it pan to the right to have it talk, you know, capture me talking to somebody about something on the ride. I could do that from the joystick, which could be mounted on my top tube or mounted on my, like my arm here, something like that. Um, so I think the application of that is interesting. That's a little bit different than me just like grabbing and turning the camera, which brings some challenges in and of itself. Like HDMI cable might get a little bit loose. Um, you know, the camera's a little bit off center then, it might not be perfectly flat and stable, whereas a gimbal head will keep flat and stable the whole time. I can't believe it's this small. I thought it actually was gonna be a lot larger. I mean, this thing is tiny. It is the size of my hand. Let's see what else we got inside the box here. So I'm assuming this is where some of the straps are in this little box here. I believe there is like a strap for the gimbal head. And I think there's another strap for the body, which you can use to, I always hate opening these boxes because I, I don't want to rip them. Sometimes they're hard to get open and you feel like you have to, or you will inadvertently rip it just to get it open. Okay, so here's some things. I think we got everything out there. Okay, this is, I've seen this on video. So this is kind of like the retaining clip for the body. So you do something like this, you clip this on here and that holds that into place. It comes with this strap, which you can thread through here as like a wrist strap. So I've seen, I've seen that application where you can, you know, strap it to your wrist or forearm. Like, I guess it wouldn't be your wrist, it'd be your forearm like that. Um, I've seen pictures of people doing that. What else we got? We got a couple 3M sticky mounts. And this is a magnetic mounting plate. So it has a quarter thread adapter. You can put this on a tripod and then you can put the gimbal head on top of here. So something like this, for instance. Thread this into the tripod and then boom, magnetically you're... Interesting, it's the other side. You have to do it the other way. 
Um, so you could attach that to a tripod and then the gimbal head could sit on, magnetically connect to this. There is no quarter thread adapter as part of the gimbal base here, which is inter an interesting choice. I mean, they made this magnetic. There's no real, way, no real way to affix this to something in a more permanent fashion. The shape here for the gimbal mount is actually one of the GoPro like fast mount shapes. So um, this will slide into a GoPro chesty plate or any other like standard GoPro clip surface. The gimbal head actually connects into a standard GoPro mount. Um, so it's in there. That's interesting. It doesn't really lock in though. That's not locking in. It's just, it's, it's slid in there, but it's not like securely stuck in there, if you will. I, I guess I thought there'd be like a backstop so it couldn't slide out, but it just slides through. You see that one way in, other way in, it slides all the way out. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, I think the magnet is, <clears throat> excuse me, I think the magnets maybe more reliable. Okay, well, that's basically the unboxing. This isn't a review video yet. We're gonna give it a try and see how it works with my IRL streaming Bella box setup, but that's it, Feiyu Pocket 2S. Expect to see some new streams using this camera that I hope work out well. Thanks everybody for tuning in and see you on the next video. If you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button, like the video, everything helps out the channel and uh, hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.